Now for part six, um, a geometric progression has six terms. Okay, so the number of terms is six. Now we know we have a geometric progression. So we know the n term, for example, is going to be a r n minus one, and the sum to infinity have to be a over one minus r. So that's how we can write for now. The first term is going to be one nine two. Good to know, and the common ratio is. 1.5. Okay, these are the given information. Now, we have another progression, an arithmetic progression has 21 terms. Now we know for AP, the n term is given to you by A plus n minus 1 times D. Sum of the first n term is half n, and then we have 2A plus n minus 1 D. Okay, so we have uh, 21 terms. And the common difference d is going to be 1.5. Okay, now given the sum of the terms in the geometric progression is equal, that's the same, to the sum of all the terms in the arithmetic progression, find the first and last term of the arithmetic progression. Okay, so we have to find a and the last term, which is the 21st term of the arithmetic progression. So one by one. So we know the sum of all the terms, so of the uh, six terms, is equal to the sum of the 21 terms for the AP. So one by one here we have to replace for this one for the GP and this is for the AP. So here we have sum of the first six terms. So we have to know this formula here. Again, this is given to you for geometric. Let me write this down. It is sum of the first n term for geometric is A. Here we have r is more than 1, so we can put r here, no big deal. That will be this, power n minus 1 over 1.5 minus 1. So sum of the first six terms, that should be a, a is the first term is 192. 1 1.5 is the common ratio, n is 6 minus 1 over 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5. That should be equal to the sum of the first 21 terms. Uh, let's see what do we have here. That will be half, n is 21, 2a, 2 times a we don't know, plus n minus 1, n is 21 minus 1 is 20, times d is the difference. I think we know this, it is 1.5, so I will replace it afterwards. For now, we can just try to solve this. So here we have divided by 0 0.5, which is 192 divided by 0 0.5 should be 384, have 1.5 minus 1. Here we have half, 21, and here we have 2a m plus, so 20 times 1.5 should be 30. So we can cross, we can multiply by 2, over here you will have 384 times 2, that should be 768, then 1.5 minus 1, that should be 21, then 2a plus 30. So 2a plus 30, will be 768 divided by 21 times 1.5 power 6 minus 1. And then 2a will be all this 76821, 1.5 this minus 30. So answer divided by 21 should be this value times, so let me just do everything. 1.5 power 6 minus 1 is this. Multiply by 768 divided by 21 minus 30. That will be 350. So 2a will be 350. So a will be divided by 2. That should be 175. So we have found the value of a to be this. Now moving on, we can find the value of the first term a is 175. And the last term is the 21st term. So 21st term, that will be using the formula of course, that will be a plus n minus 1 will be 20 times d, which is 1.5 for the common uh, difference. That will be 175 plus 20 times 1.5, that should be 205 for the last term. So first term was found to be 175 and last term was 205. Again, last term was the 21st term because we have 21 term in the progression. And that will be your question in regards to series.